to my drink. Over oh, there. Hey everyone, today I was doing some browsing through novellas and I found a couple stories that I'd like to say I wanted to talk to you about. And I realised that these are all LGBT like friendly stories. So I'm going to leave links all in the description and I encourage you to check them all out. The first one is Whisper by Melotta. Benedict has lived six months in a ragged half-existence, torn apart after his twin brother's accident. But still, when he meets Whisper, the happy-go-lucky boy in a wheelchair, who volunteers at his support group, Benedict starts to realise that maybe it isn't impossible for him to begin enjoying life again. It's only after the two uncover some incriminating evidence that Benedict understands that his brother's car crash wasn't quite as accidental as he originally thought. My favourite thing about this is that Whisper is a love story that begins as a tragedy. And in addition to portraying LGBT characters, the story is one of the first that I've read which includes disability. And also the sense of loss and grief experienced by Benedict is portrayed not only very realistically but very honestly. And this is an emotional story, one that made me experience an entire spectrum of emotions with pure happiness at one end and like unstoppable tears on the other. The second one is one that I mentioned in my video last week, I believe, and it's called The Pretty Girls by Melotta Rose Mahogany. So if you missed that video, this story is about three characters called Meg, Cara and Rosalie who are the fool, the brat and the addict. And they're perfect and everyone in Elm Academy knows it, but unfortunately even perfection has its price. And it's easy to become invested in these characters, because the quality of writing between the three authors is amazing, enough to make you care about all of them, even the ones who tend to be unbearable at times. This entire story represents many issues on the ugly side of perfection, and one of these issues is sexuality. One character is struggling to come to terms with their feelings, while another is troubled to accept their sexuality and their current crushes. And the third one is Love to Hate by Prodigy. Love to Hate is the first in a trilogy of stories which are available as ebooks. So if you don't want to read them on the Mavella's website, you can download the ebook and read them there. And Cyrus is always the new kid, the outsider, the freak, and there's no reason to expect that things would change at his new boarding school. But perhaps that's because he didn't meet Hayden, his fun, popular roommate who is hell-bent on, on breaking Cyrus's icy exterior. And when I finished this story, it took me weeks to get Cyrus and Hayden out of my head. It's so easy to get attached to the storyline and become invested in the character's life, which is why I would definitely recommend this one as my favourite of one of all the stories I've read here. So I, you should read it on the verge, you should download the ebook just anything you can do to read this story. So this is a very quick video but it's definitely got the point across that I just wanted to make. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!